Hello my friends, it's time I taught you how to play something that you didn't think you'd be able to play, alright? Something that you think is probably outside your skill set, and I'm here now to tell you that it isn't, you know. What am I going to show you? I'll do this, you'll know it. Classical gas, of course it is. Mason Williams, brilliant, brilliant track. Everyone's done it. Tommy Emmanuel, all the brilliant players have done it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to play that main bit right now for something to do. Not been with you all week, been up to all sorts of other bits and pieces. Uh, the other tutorials are in hand, I just haven't got around to doing them yet. But uh, I thought in the meantime, I'll just give you something that I think is easy to play and something that's really impressive and something that you out there will be able to do by the time you've watched this vid. If, if you follow my idiot proof instructions, which I'm going to show you now. All right, only four pages, dead easy this. Each page represents one bar. What's one bar? One and two and three and four and that's one bar. It's four bars, so you do that four times. Right, let's have a quick look at this for any newcomers to the, uh, to the channel, if there are. This is your, these are your 12 frets. These are the positions of your left hand where your fingers go. Anything with a little circle around it, something's going to happen with that particular string. Nothing frightening, I can assure you. Down here, we've got the string numbers that we're going to play. Okay, and anything you see in a bracket, you'll play those strings together. In this instance, you've got a five and a two, and you, it tells you what you're going to do with that. Well, I'm going to tell you as well. So, Okay, so just look out for that. Anything in brackets, you play together. Anything like this, you just play separately. And your beats to the bar, one and two and three and four and are written underneath to keep you, you know, to keep you in time so you know what you're doing. Right, let's crack straight on, shall we? A minor, play an A minor like this, da, da, da. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of how to do that. You should know, if you don't, it's on the paper anyway. All right, so orientate, good word, your fingers like this, three, two, one, okay? In a minute, you'll move them to there, but for now, you're going to keep them there, all right? We're not really using this one, but that's the way you generally position, set yourself up. Let's begin. Five and two together. Now, start with this finger off, all right, like this. And you're going to hammer on and pull off, and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to play five and two together. Hammer on. And when I say hammer on, I mean whack it on. Hammer on. And then pull off by pulling your finger down. Don't just lift it off. It'll just... Pull the sound. Okay, see the way? All right. Now, on the count, if you look at your little piece of paper down below, it's one and. Okay, one and. Put the finger back on and play strings two and then strings three. So we've got one and two and. Then play a five, then a two, then a three. And then bring your fingers off and play a two. I'll do that again slowly. Five and two with a hammer and a pull off. Put your finger back on and play a two, then a three, then a five, then a two, then a three, then a two with your fingers off. And when we count that with the bar, we've got this one and two and three and four and bar one done. Don't forget, you can download what I'm looking at now on the blue link below this vid. So if you haven't done that, do it now and jump back and get it right. Okay, so we're now on to the next shape, which is a G. But we only need one finger to play this particular inversion. Third finger on the bass string of the third fret. That's all we need to do. Why? Because we're not going to hit the other strings, hopefully. Okay, I tend to put that finger on there anyway, but you don't have to. Just don't hit the fifth string by mistake. Now... Bring these three fingers here. Just bring them up here now. You're only going to use this one and this one, but you know, do bring them all up so you, and then at least you're in the right position. What are we going to do on this shape? We're going to play, there we are, six, four, three. Put your second finger now at the second fret and play six, four, three. Then take it off and play six, four. 
up to that bar. Let me count it through. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So this is what we've got. We're halfway through, by the way. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, on to the next page, page three. Play an E minor. Now you're not actually you're not even going to hit these any of these two strings, but you do hear them, so put them on. All right. This is the thing about tablature; it doesn't tell you that you're not going to play them and not to put them on. It just shows you the other notes, and people say, "Why does that sound shit?" It's because they're not there. Okay, you'll hear it for yourself. Six and two together because it's in a bracket. String six and two. I mean six and two. Third string with your little finger on underneath at the second fret. Little finger off. Little finger back on. Let's do that again. Let's count that now. One and two and. Then hit a sixth string. Then hit a second string. And when you hit that second string, bring this finger off because it's done its job. And then after that, hit a six again. Let me count that through. One and two and three and four. And then for the and after the four, we take these two fingers and we quickly jump back to the A minor shape and we play the three for the and after the four. Okay, that's the only little bit you've got to be careful of. I'll do that again. One and two and three. that it would be one and two and three and four and and there your four bars and after that you do the whole thing again four times okay now on that last bar here page four you will see over the fourth string it's got hammer on okay now to start with don't bother with the hammer on I'll, I'll explain you've got one and you've got one and two and three and four and when you get the hang of that you can then go one and two and three and four and all right see what i'm doing one and two and like that okay but that's a little embellishment that you can stick in once you've got the main thing uh, sorted out so let me play it through from the beginning one and sorry one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three get that idea we can run out of breath <laughs> okay, at speed. I'll put the hammers in. Now without. thought it would be something really nice to show you how to play um, mainly because a lot of you probably think you're not capable of doing it but I don't believe that I think many of you are and I think if you follow these instructions to the letter and listen to my blabbing on here then um, by the time but before you go to bed I mean I've only been chatting for 10 minutes you should have it nailed okay now remember that the only thing you've got to be careful of is when you finish the E minor Get into that A minor quickly. One and two and three and four and and. Now you'll see it on page four. That and is there and. So don't miss it. That's the only bit you've got to be careful of. Right. Whew. That's it for me. Um, I'll try and get some of the other stuff done during the week. All right. Um,
big love and all that. I've had some fun. Tell you what, I've got tendonitis learning how to play that bloody thing. This bit. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. I know all the bits now and I can teach them to you. It's just that I've dumped myself in trying to get it. I've actually ordered and paid for a brand new guitar, a tailor, cutaway nylon, just so I can play that for you. Cost me a fortune, all right? Cost me an absolute fortune. Should have it in about a few weeks time, all right? So you might have to wait for that one. Next one I'm definitely gonna do is Salisbury Hill. That's the next one, definitely, all right? But until then, enjoy Classical Gas. If I get enough views on it, I'll. I'll put it all together, the whole thing. Don't forget to download the paperwork now for those four bars that we've just done. And please try it, because I know once you start and you can play that bit, A, you're going to impress the hell out of everybody that you know, and B, it's going to inspire you to want to do the rest, okay? Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.